We're about to find a second derivative at t equals 2. And so we're going to do the second derivative formula. I got that on the textbook, page 631. And it just disappeared. You take the regular dy dx derivative, and then you would apply another d dx. However, over in uh, parameterized coordinates, and the denominator is just a regular dx dt. Uh, here we have dy dx, the way we normally compute it, and then another ddt. Now that ddt applies only to the term on the right, not to the entire fraction. So let's go ahead and compute dy dx, which of course is y prime over x prime. And here I have x equals 1 3rd t cubed. Let's write that out. x prime, meaning dx dt, is 3 cancels the third, and we have t squared. So regular y is 1 ninth t to the ninth, and we're taking the t derivative, so y prime, the 9 power cancels out this ninth, and we bring it down, so it's t to the eighth. And we can just fill those in right here, y prime over x prime. And we can reduce that to t to the 6 just using algebra. All right, so that took care of dy dx. And of course, what is dx dt? That is x prime right there. All right, let's go ahead and write d squared y over dx squared. And this is d d t of d y d x divided by d x d t and d y d x was t to the six we just computed that d x d t is x prime right there t squared now here you apply the derivative now you do not uh, apply it to the entire fraction just the numerator. So it's still t squared on the bottom. You have 6t to the fifth. Reduce those powers. We have 6t to the 5 minus 2 is 3. 6t cubed.